Hey guys, what's up? It's Eddie Oliver Smith and just a note, like this is gonna be a longer video. Um, I'm gonna try to get it in one take. Obviously it'll be edited, but I feel like the quicker that I get through this, the less emotional I'll be. So this is not an April Fool's joke. This is really real. Um, so this video is going to be about how Lady Gaga knows who I am. So a year ago today, I got the biggest surprise of my life, something I never would have expected and I honestly thought it was an April Fool's joke. Vice.com did an article about my Born This Way Ball clone, which I had done three years ago on my YouTube channel, Club Gaga, and Jamie Lee Curtis, one of the amazing authors of the article, um, wrote a very kind, sweet article about my passion for Gaga and why I had done what I had done and next thing you know I was uh, I was on the train coming home and I got tweets and I saw her tweet and I really thought it was a April Fool's joke but it was no joke. It already happened. I already lived in the glory of it. My 15 minutes of fame um, came and gone but I got so much out of the experience that I thought I would sit down today and put into words what has happened since then. Things are meant to be. Last year I had a really rough patch and which led to me working a lot on myself around the time when this all broke and it really threw an interesting wrench into every situation that I've ever been through. A lot of people ask me, Eddie, do you still like Gaga? Yes, of course. I mean, Gaga is the reason, the person that made me brave, the person that allowed me to see that what I wanted to do and what I believed in and being different and being me is okay and that putting it out there on the internet and following my passions and my dreams could lead me somewhere. So after the Vice article, after everything died down, I it changed me as a person. It ch changed my every perspective into everything I've ever done. For one, I created my first short film about some of the most difficult times in my life. If you want to check that out, you can go to aloneinsilencefilm.com. I'd really appreciate it. After that article, I really realized that I could start living every day. Filmmaking and acting, I have, it's opened the doors for me to be able to believe that I am good enough to make films for a living. Um, because of the Vice article, it gave me so much more credibility into everything that I've ever done. When you tell people you make YouTube videos for a living, people look at you like you're crazy. They ask you, what what kind of job do you want to have? And I say, well, making videos um, right now on the internet. People look at you and they don't value it. And when you're in film school, they don't value it. They don't think that it is a viable um, credible things and we forget that there's this whole nother world called YouTube where you can upload anything you want and you can grab an audience and people don't look at that as a success but for me the audience that I've gotten here is success to me and by that giving the credibility I and I also was very fortunate enough to do the Keek Out Hate campaign with Keek and going to New York and meeting all, you know, my follower and just going out there spreading peace, love, and positivity. Then came my life-changing summer. There were people out there ridiculing me for three years of this Born This Way ball clone. And then one day, all of a sudden, people are like, oh my god, you're amazing, your stuff's great. I had such a change of that. And you know what? I've been on the internet for years. I've gotten haters. I understand that. But to find out that there's people out there that see what you see and understand your vision and uh, accept you for you, that's amazing. And so for me, it really empowered me to spend the summer figuring out who I wanted to be and learning to accept the things that I had gotten made fun of for years. And I realized that I could live my life doing things that matter and make a difference. And so I started writing a lifestyle guidebook on how to love yourself which will hopefully be out at the end of the year and um you can get more info on that very soon um without that catalyst that was this vice article i don't think it would have given me you know without that that recognition that you don't always need but is helpful i've never needed the recognition through all of this i've never done this if you haven't realized by now i have never done this for the views 
this is my passion and this is what I will always be wanting to do is making him something in visual medium in media, you know, whether it's music or books or whatever, telling my story to people who, you know, need to hear that and, and want to hear that and that will make a difference. Um, overall, I think what I've learned most about all of this, I appreciate the things that I've done, um, the experiences I've had and those people that were there for me. I think I don't, I wouldn't play it any other way. Um, other than creating and uploading videos when I was 11 years old and, and spending so much time in school, outside of school, doing these things and going to LA and meeting my mentors and creating this weird out there content and writing songs and putting stuff on iTunes. I wouldn't want to have it any other way because I appreciate that experience and no one can ever take that away from me. Sticking to your visions, your gut. Even if people ridicule you, pay off. That's what I've learned. I stuck to my gut and it has paid off in the people that I met, the experiences, all of this. I wouldn't be anywhere without the the internet. I've learned to believe in myself. I think people that are creative, you know, we, we get told that we can't do this and we can't do that. And then we start to get this like no confidence in ourselves. And I think if we just trust our gut and jump for opportunities and believe in ourselves like it takes us really far and I believed in myself when I did the born this way ball clone and just goes to show you you know I believed in it no one else really did but that me believing in it you know eventually people believed in me Lady Gaga believed in me finally I learned out of all of this is creating your inner sense of fame. Sometimes you have to tell yourself that you, what you're doing, like people are caring about it that even when no one isn't, I think it's like that essence of like walking in, like this is what I believe and this is me and this is who I am. Creating that inner sense of fame and being your own, you know, fan and be willing to put it out there because without it I don't think I'd be anywhere. All this mushy stuff aside, hopefully you get a sense of how thankful I am for you guys and looking back a year, oh my gosh it's been a crazy year. Just now I'm here, I'm working hard, I'm following my dreams and I'm happy and that's all that matters to me. What I hope that you can take from my channel or this video or whatever that I put out there is to believe in yourself against all odds and know that whoever you are, whatever you, you know, whoever you love, whoever you want to be, be that person and be that person confidently and go out into the world knowing that this is who you are and no one can take that self happiness away from you if you don't let them. If you live in your glory and your passions and what you believe, you will be a really happy person and that's all I want for everyone out there is to be able to love themselves. Right? I hope that gives you a little bit of info and um, all that I could share with you. There are so much more I can't wait to share with you in my book and I know I keep putting it out there and I don't really have any info on it right now because I'm still working on it but trust me this book is gonna be amazing and Stay tuned to what will be on this channel. Stay tuned for something in the next couple months. I have a little surprise for you guys. It's coming out of left field, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do what makes you happy and dance to the beat of your own drum, as they say. So, uh, thank you guys so much. Peace, love, and positivity. Don't forget to subscribe and spread that peace, love, and positivity to everyone. You guys are the best. Bye. Alrighty. So now look, we've made a healthy